Yeah. You know what? F this. The Technomancer was such a disappointment to me that I literally had to stop playing. Now, I I'm not saying it's a terrible game by any means. It has some good qualities to it, but I just got so frustrated at a few things that I literally had to just put down the game and give up. I planned on playing this game through right to the end and doing a full review having beaten the entire game. That's how excited I was to play this game. It looked like it would be a mixture of kind of a Mass Effect meets Dragon Age style game. But my first few hours through this game were so frustrating. Let me just read out to you the notes I made through my first few hours. Here, just bit. Choppy dialogue. Hidden empty container. What the f***? Died on first battle. Died again. Too many enemies. Died again. Too many enemies. Tried to heal. Got hit. Died again. Terrible balance. Died again. First level. Switched from rogue to guardian. Helped. Another f***ing empty thing. In the game, the Technomancer teaches you the basics of combat, um, how, how to dodge, how to block, and how to attack with your various attack abilities. It makes sense at the beginning, but then once you meet the battles, in the first level, the first enemy encounter you find, you're facing a bunch of enemies, it's just too much to handle in a few of the specific playstyles. If you're playing as the rogue type, you literally have to dodge and then make one attack, dodge, one attack, every time. It takes forever to kill these guys when you've got a big ass sword and they're just punching you, they could take you out in one or two hits. It's bullshit. And yes, there is a steep learning curve to the combat and once you get it and pick the right style that suits you, I'm sure you can get it and later in the game there's enjoyment to be had, but the experience in the first few hours is a huge turnoff to a lot of players, I'm sure. Now the lore and setting for this game is really interesting. You're on Mars, it's a broken up colony of people from Earth, some people are infected, there's all this crazy stuff going on with these factions. It looks really interesting and I wanted to explore this world. But when I explored, I expected to kind of get some sort of, I don't know, reward or some incentive to explore. But when I explored the first few levels, I found containers that I thought there'd be cool loot or some interesting lore items to find, but there was nothing. I literally explored a nook and cranny, found a container with nothing in it. What a waste of my time. And listen, empty containers are nothing new to RPG games. There'll be times when you find things there's just nothing there. But why would I go out of my way thinking, oh, I'm gonna explore this extra area in this level to find a container and there's nothing in it. Why even put that area there? Put some sort of rubble there so I can't get by or something so I keep on a straight path and don't waste my time exploring when there's no reason to. The tough combat and lack of exploration is something that I could probably handle with if there was a decent story that was compelling you to move your way through the game. I'm sure there is some part of a story in here somewhere, but the dialogue and delivery in all these lines is just so weak with the character animations and with the actual voice acting. These actors sound like they're just reading their lines off, not giving a shit, and the characters' faces look the same too. Only their mouth moves when they're talking. Prepare yourself, and once you are ready, join me at the station. From there, a train will take us to the mission site. Thank you, Master. Listen, I know I've come down hard here on the Technomancer, and I'm sure there's a lot of great things to explore in this game, and it's not a poorly made game by any stretch. It's just the first few hours of gameplay are so frustrating in, in, in weird ways that it just turned me off from playing it altogether. Even if there is some interesting gameplay elements and some exciting story events that happen later in the Technomancer, I really don't want to have to slog my way through hours of frustration just to make it to that. There's plenty of other games out there that you can enjoy from beginning to end and not have to work your way through to get to the good stuff later on. I didn't play through the entirety of the Technomancer, so it's unfair of me to give a, a final verdict for it, but my recommendation to you guys is don't play the Technomancer. Now for those of you who are fans of this game out there who really enjoy it or who are really looking forward to it, maybe it'd be worth a shot if you want to kind of grind your way through and try to search for something great in the Technomancer, but it's too much of a risk for me to really invest a lot of time into when it's probably not going to work out for you. Well, that's all I got to say about the Technomancer. I got to thank you guys for watching and I definitely hope to see you next time on Yes Guy Gaming.